just a short time ago, L.A. County D.A. George Gascon held a press conference to announce the charges calling the shooting death of Mona Rodriguez unfortunate and unnecessary. All right, it's news reporter Jory Rand is live outside the D.A.'s office downtown with the very latest. Jory? David Colleen, it was one month ago today that Mona Rodriguez was shot and killed by that Long Beach school safety officer when he fired on the car she was riding in when that car nearly hit him. Today, 51-year-old Eddie Gonzalez was arrested on murder charges. Uh, this happened again one month ago today, and there is an outpouring of relief from those who love and knew Mona Rodriguez. Her family holding a press conference shortly after L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon announced the charges today. Uh, again, the chief of police of Long Beach, Robert Luna, was here as well, along with Gascon, and described what happened that day one month ago, saying that officer Gonzalez was driving by and saw 18-year-old Mona in a fight in the middle of the street. He then got out of his car. Mona and two others fled the scene into a car and tried to drive off, nearly hitting Officer Gonzalez as they left. Gonzalez fired two times into the car, hitting Mona in the head. She was the only one hit in that car. She was taken to the hospital and a week later taken off life support. Gonzalez was arrested today in the city of Orange and now sits in Long Beach jail. Uh, you know, it's an unfortunate and unnecessary death. We left a six month old uh, without a mother, a family without a daughter, and clearly a tremendous loss to them. Our entire community. Hopefully, with this justice that, that we got today on the on the day, basically a month ago, that she was shot and killed. You know, hopefully, I can heal. Hopefully, my family can heal. And the family and their attorneys are hoping this winds up with a conviction of Eddie Gonzalez, but that is a long way off. He's set to be arraigned on Friday on murder charges. D.A. Gascon said he's being held on two million dollars bail. Reporting live outside the Hall of Justice in downtown L.A., Jory Rand, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.